Good evening, time now for Midweek Sports. We start with some track and field this evening. Cayman's top sprinter, Sidoni Mothersil, left today, bound for New Delhi, India, where she leads the national team at the Commonwealth Games. Sidoni was fourth in the 200 meters at the last edition of Commonwealth in Melbourne four years ago. And Cayman's fastest lady looks poised for another medal, for a medal rather, after showing some blazing speed this season, picking up the CAC gold medal along the way. Her on, tra her on track preparations aside, Sidoni gave her views on what she expects when she arrives in India for the Games, after weeks of speculation that organizers are not ready. In today's compass, Sidoni said, As a professional athlete, you always want to be comfy, but if you're not, you just have to roll with the punches. She continued, What I heard was a bit frightening, but I know we are all covered, not just physically, but spiritually. Same sentiments gave by Sean Fraser last week. She runs in the 200 meters at the Commonwealth Games, leading Cayman's 17-member team to New Delhi. We hope to hear from Sidoni tomorrow night to discuss the living conditions in the Cayman's area, which has been the main concern for several athletes headed to New Delhi. Also hitting the road is the national men's football team. They head to Puerto Rico tomorrow for the Digicel Caribbean Cup. Captain Ian Lindo and his men don't have much time in Puerto Rico before the first game. Cayman opens against... Editor St. Martin on Saturday, then tackle Anguilla on Monday and the home team Puerto Rico next Wednesday. In the September FIFA World Rankings, Cayman's national team is ranked 181st in the world. Puerto Rico is 170th and the Anguillans are 203rd in the standings. Staying with football, another young Caymanian baller is making headlines at the university in the United States. Goalkeeper Ramon Sili earns Defender of the Week honors for West Florida men's team in the Gulf South Conference. Sealy in the black jersey sitting there keeps for Bordentown and the national team and he got the award after just his first start for the Argos, making four critical saves, one of them a penalty, and helping his team to a 2-1 victory over Lynn on Saturday. This video brought the West Florida team to Cayman a few months ago. On his achievement, Ramon said it feels great. It feels good that the hard work I put in in practice and training I have gotten to this stage. Tonight, fight fans around the world, boxing pound for pound king Manny Pacquiao has been hard at work for his upcoming fight against the Mexican Antonio Margarito. There's Pacquiao in the blue shirts running the streets of Philippines doing his road work for the November 13th clash. It will be Pacquiao's second fight this year, his last time he was in the ring was against the Ghanaian Joshua Clotty back in March. 